Well, hello again, everybody. And I have time to do a new demo, and I have lots more time today. So I thought I would put my Enya CD on because I find it very relaxing. You might not be able to hear it, but I can hear it in the background. <laughs> and I thought um, it would be really fun to do an altered art project. And I'm sure many of you have seen um, altered CDs. And this is a workshop that I taught a few years ago. And for some reason, I can only find two of my CDs that I did, but I'll show them to you. And um, so, yes, you just take a, a discarded CD or a DVD or, you know, you can get those software DVDs that um, you just normally don't use and throw away. And I just collage them and alter them. Sometimes I paint them and other times I just stamp on them. But you can, the possibilities are just really endless with these and they make such wonderful decorative items. And, you know, you can also make clocks with these, you know, because obviously you've got the hole in the middle, which makes it easier. So I thought it would be just really fun to relax a little bit and just make an altered CD. And plus, I love recycled art. I love creating something from objects that people would just throw away normally. So I haven't actually planned this really very much. I just thought I would throw a whole bunch of supplies on my table here and um, hopefully I have everything. I think I do um, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So here's the CD. It's an old rewritable DVD that doesn't work anymore. And now I have to pick some paper and I'm a big fan of Seven Gypsies. So let's see, this is my latest Seven Gypsies paper pad that I really really love and this is called Harmony and I think this is one of their newest ones. I had to wait a while to get this. Oh sorry the light's reflecting on there. And so it's lots of script and text. I'll show you some of the... and again they're double sided, isn't that great? Let me move those over here so you can see. And they're kind of uh, mostly in grey and cream and black tones which makes it um, look really super and vintage and you get about five or six sheets of each. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Oh, this is pretty with the dress form here. So it's very tempting to use a sheet of the Harmony. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I might pick one from there. My other favourite is the Seven Gypsies Lil, or Lil, <laughs> which has some really great imaging on here. But the thing is, I don't want the background to be too busy because I want to collage on top, so I don't want to lose, um, I don't want it to look too muddled. So let's see, I mean, oh gosh, I don't know, I really like this one too. Isn't it hard to choose when you're working on a project. Do you find it difficult too? Because this is where I get stuck. It's picking the paper that I want to use. You see, now the back of this one's really pretty. It's got like vintage red florals. I like this one. It says crazy love on there. <laughs> Maybe I should make that for my hubby. <laughs> oh, this is quite nice with the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I don't know. Oh gosh, it's really hard to choose. Let's see what else do I have here. La, la, la. This is Notting Hill. This is another good one. This is one of their older ones, 2008. I'm surprised I still have some of these left. Oh, that's that's very nifty with the bird on there. That might be nice. I may put that one aside. And I may end up singing along to Enya at some point because I love singing to Enya. <laughs> Not that I'm very good at singing. Oh, that's a good background too. Okay, I need to make a decision. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to, it's, it's between three different pieces. Let's see, the Avignon is also a really good one. Let's take a look. Nothing to, oh, that's a little too busy. That's quite nice. Mm. Oh, you know what? It's either going to be the one with the little birdie, although the bird might not show up on there, or something? I think I'm going to use one of the new Harmony papers. Let's see. And I think it's going to be this one. Oops. So let's get all the first 
sheet ripped out of the paper pack. That's always the most painful. Once you've done it once, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with this sheet. It's got like a marriage license and uh, stuff on this. That's kind of fun. So there are many ways that you can um, adhere the paper to your CD. You can use regular glue stick, double-sided sticky tape, um, gel medium. But you know something? I am happy with glue stick. Seems to work for me. So it looks weird, but we're just going to pop glue stick all over the surface of the disc. Okay. Right, pop the lid back on there so it doesn't dry out. And then basically, I'm going to turn the sheet over. Oh, that's quite cool on the back. And I'm going to just drop the disc on there. Press down really well. Okay. Okay, so then I'll turn it over and then I'll just sort of because you just really, really want to make sure that that paper is really well stuck onto the CD because the fun bit comes next when you trim all the paper off and you see the result. Okay, so there are another a couple of ways to trim off the paper. You can use scissors or you can use um, an X-Acto knife. And uh, I have one of these, which, you know, I've never been able to use this properly. You're supposed to hold it like that, but you know something, I just... So I'm going to use my scissors to start with. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> you see me in the mirror there. That's really bizarre. Okay. And then what you can do after... Um, After you've trimmed this, just take your X-Acto knife to get the edges off, you know, so it's all even. I love this song, Far and Away from the movie. Okay, so I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut a cross in the middle. I hope you can see me doing that because then it makes it easy when you turn this over you can pop your finger in there sorry that's not looking great so I'm just going to pop my finger right in there <laughs> which looks odd and then you can either stick those onto the back because you can always um, decorate the back of your disc or you can trim it off and I'm going to trim those pieces off and you can always tidy these up with an exacto knife it doesn't have to be perfect I always say that and people are probably sick of me saying it oops come on there we go one more little bit there okay those bits. So what I'll do with that is just make sure what I might do is take a little glue stick on the back. You can kind of see what I've done there. It's a bit rough around the edges but that's okay. But you can kind of see how the disc is looking and I'm just going to check I am actually going to get really close here, so you might see my head. <laughs> and just, you know something, let me get my cutting mat here. Here we go. So I can see there are some little bits that just need, actually, you know, I think we're doing okay. work. The next thing I'm going to do is get this straight around here. Okay, well it's not going to look perfect but you know that's okay because I have a plan of something I can do there. 
Okay, fun bit next is the collage bit. So, let me put these away. Pop the lid on that exacto knife, that's super sharp. Okay, so I'm trying to decide whether to do whimsical or just go for plain vintage. And I think with this paper, I think the vintage style is actually pretty good. So, I have some pre-cut images of some beautiful vintage ladies. Oh, look, I have a bride. Okay, now will she fit? We can make her fit. Okay, maybe. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's really beautiful too. She's not a bride, but oh. Hmm, actually I like the tone on that more because she stands out a little bit more. So I'm very, very tempted to go with her actually. There are so many gorgeous images here. Can you see them all? Oh, it's really hard to choose. Actually, she's very funky with her hair. She almost looks like she should be in like a Dracula movie or something. Mm -hmm. No, I know it's going to be her. I like her. Okay, now I feel like I need more on the background, so I'm going to pop her to the side here and look at some papers that would be really good for extra background. So I've got this wonderful um, Seven Gypsies uh, tissue papers, and these are really great, and you only need a little bit, and I'm thinking... Ooh. Anything with text and buildings. So let's see. Now again, we don't want anything to. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's let's test them and see what happens. Like I say, we're just sort of playing today. It's nothing really organised. It's fun to do that, isn't it? Sometimes just to say, okay, I'm going to get all my supplies out and just. Okay, so this I really love. This is um, just some text tissue from Seven Gypsies. And I'm going to just tear off a little bit of this. Because you don't necessarily need the words, the marriage words there. Okay. All right, I quite like that. Right, and then... So for, th for this part, um, glue stick works again, so I'm going to do that. I'm, s I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. So let's get a little glue on the back of this tissue. Tissue can be fun and frustrating to work with. So we'll see. I haven't used this in a while. Oops, oh, I'm getting it all messy. Ooh. Mm, sticky fingers. Okay, now what you might see here is that the glue is showing through, it's purple, but it's a disappearing glue stick, so it'll dry clear once it's all dried. Haha, mm. -ha, I've got it on my fingers. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's like that scene out of um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when he has all the tree sap on his fingers and sticking to everything. <laughs> Oh, and I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas, if you indeed celebrate Christmas, not everybody does. But for those of you who do, I hope you had a really lovely one. For us Brits, it was Boxing Day yesterday, which is the day after Christmas. Okay. So, that's looking okay. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is... What shall I do next? Should I stamp an image? I do have a few of the stamps with me. Let's see. Where did I put the rubber stamps? Ah, there they are. Of course you can't see them. <laughs> de -de -de -de. Hmm, okay. So this is um this is an old demo stamp, but I really like this. I'm going to stamp it in black, Versafine I'm going to use. Versafine black. And I believe this was a Renaissance art stamp stamp. So just to give it some extra, oh yes. I think I'm going to stamp that a couple more times. That just sort of evens up the background a little bit there. And bear with me, I know it's not looking fabulous yet but it will. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to do, you know what, should I stamp another? No, because it'll be too much. You've got to know when to stop. <laughs> okay, so that won't take a second to dry. I'm just going to blow on this for a second. Okay, Oops. now I'm just going to make sure I still want this lady. Oh, you see, now I'm wondering about changing my mind. Ha 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 ha. Let's see, which other ladies do I have in my collection here? See, I still like her, but I think she's going to be a little too... Oh, oh actually, if I can trim her just a little bit more. What do you think? I think it has to be her. It's, it's, it's the hairstyle that's doing it for me, so... Yes. <laughs> and once again, I'm going to use glue stick. Um, just because I have it with me. So. <laughs> you don't need a huge amount. Just make sure you've got it all over the back of the image. Okay. So, let's pop her. And don't worry if you get over the edge because I will do here but then I'm going to trim her. Okay. It's coming together. So what I'm going to do next is just take my trusty little scissors here. And I have a thing about these straight edges looking too blunt, so I need, I feel the need to put something here. And I think I've forgotten my buttons, but let me have a look in my cupboard behind me here. You might hear me rustling around. Mm -hmm. And let's see, do I have some buttons or anything I can use? Let's take two. Oh, what's that? Oh, that was a domino. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I've got anything in this stash. No. Oh, I know what I could use. Aha. Told you I wasn't prepared for this demo, didn't I? Hmm. Okay, this is going to look interesting. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, Domino's, you go back in there. This is something I picked up, um, I think it was like Ben Franklin, and it's um, a trim that you use on lampshades, if indeed you make lampshades, but of course I spotted it and thought, oh, I could choose that on something else. So, a bargain price of 97 cents. So what I could possibly do here is just cut a little bit. I'm not sure if I am going to use it, but we can try and see if it would work. Obviously, if I do use it, I'll trim it off a bit more. Yeah, you see, I don't know if that's going to work. I think I need some lace or something. What do I have in this box over here? I must have something here. Aha! 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 Oh yes, I think I found some fun bits in this bag here. 
Oh, yes, and I found this too. Oh, excellent, now I'm happy. Oh, look at that, that is so pretty. Okay, doesn't want to stay on the table though. I think we can make this work. Okay, let's pop that over there. Lid on the glue stick for now. Okay, are you bored yet? <laughs> Okay, oh perfect. Okay, I'm going to just cut a little bit of ribbon there. And I'm going to just... You know something? I'm actually going to cut that ribbon in half too. And you'll see why in a minute, because I love this scalloped edge that you can see there. So I kind of want to just do that. I think a little glue stick will hold that too, so bear with me while I just pop some on there. You can also use crafter's pit glue, but this works just as well with a very, very lightweight ribbon, so. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do um, is adhere. One of these, I have these really pretty silky flowers, and I think you buy these in like the bridal section of Michael's or German Fabrics. The only thing is they're not flat, so they're really fun to try and see. I think that would look really pretty there. So then I will use the Crafters Pit Glue. Okay. Put my stick in the Crafters Pit Glue, and I want a good dollop of glue there because... I want that flower to actually sit up and not lean. So if I can just, there, and just don't touch it, it'll dry and so there we go. So the next thing I want to do is put a word or phrase here. Really hope you're not bored. This is the longest one I think I've done. <laughs> okay, so words, 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 I see you. Did I just knock my camera? Sorry. Okay, let's see. I love these. I found these at uh, uh, Ben Franklin. And I like the style of the lettering on it. It's kind of like um, text. So let's see if we can find a nice word or phrase. Let's see. <laughs> Make a beautiful mess. I like that. Uh, tell your story with pictures. Create the world you want to see. Ooh, I like that. Create something beautiful. Follow your feelings. Mm -hmm. Discover yourself. Actually, I like tell your story with pictures. And I, I think what I'm going to do... Now, is that going to show up enough? Bear with me one second. I'm going to have a look at my other words here. That just looks like it's going to kind of blend in a little bit, so let's see. I like what it says though. Hmm. You know, I think we can make that work because I, I really like that phrase. So let's take that off here again, tell your story with pictures. And I am actually going to just do this with the words. Highlight the words, make them stand out a little more. I'm going to take some glitter glue, and I think I'll take the um, the gold because the gold will stand out just a little more. And pardon me while I turn this this way so I can well outline. You got to have a little bit of glitter stuff. Oh dear, that's really a lot. <laughs> My little stick thing here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh well, whatever. Never mind. 
the glue, uh, glitter glue came out a lot faster than I was expecting. Tell your story. With... Pictures. Now, there's just one more embellishment I want to add to this. Because I love the sepia tone and everything to this. But... I feel like I want to put like a flower or a bird or something in there. So these are um, Kay and Company and they, oh butterfly might be pretty actually. Hmm. Possibly that one. Maybe small. Have a look. See, that could be too big. What I could do potentially is um, one here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to pop this butterfly at that angle there. Oops. And then this butterfly is going to go here and then I think what I'd like to do is take my Versafine black ink I'm just going to gently tap around the edge so it takes away just the, the plain edging you could also use a Krylon gold leaf pen if you want to do gold Bear in mind if you use the Versafine it won't dry on the metal part of the disc so just use it on the paper bit. And then what I will do is I'll show you what I have here. They're hiding. And I knocked the camera again. Okay, yeah, I need to stop kicking the camera. <laughs> okay. my little box of metal treats and things here so I like these um, you know the curly uh, little paper clips well these are fantastic for popping on glue you just glue one onto the back and then you can hang it and I'll show you actually I didn't do it on that one oh with this one I actually took some gold wire and and co coiled it and then attached it on the back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That is nearly half an hour. Wow, where does the time go? I hope you weren't too bored, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, well, Happy New Year. Here's to 2014 and a, a smashing year ahead. Now, one thing I've forgotten to do that I was going to show you. You see the centerpiece that's looking a little rough? Well, what I would do after all this is dried is just glue some paper on the back there. But also, I'm going to take some of my gold glitter glue here, and it just sort of sparkles up the middle bit. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to use gold, it could just be the regular stardust or diamond, but anyway. Okay, well, thank you so much for um, sticking with me, <laughs> and here's to another wonderful year and um, just take care everybody and I'll be back in January yes I will <laughs> okay everyone take care